today in the garage, we'll be upgrading the lighting. Welcome back everybody, I'm Randy, this is the 5-5 Garage, and today we'll be upgrading the garage itself. Now before I get started, I hope you all have had a wonderful Thanksgiving and your bellies are all full and some of you probably have already went ahead and slept that off. Unfortunately, I still have a cold and I'm still battling it a little bit, so I apologize if my voice starts getting a little creaky as I'm filming this video. But let's get to it. So why am I going to upgrade the lighting in my garage? Well, as you know, I live in Illinois. We're getting into late fall. And as the weather gets colder, as I'm working in the garage, I'm going to start having the door closed. And as I was filming some test footage, I noticed that lighting in my garage isn't really that great. So as I'm filming this right now, I'm using a 50 millimeter lens. And that lens allows in a lot more light than the other lens that I use when I do my installation videos. So I decided to go ahead, order up some new lights, and try to fix my lighting situation. Now, the lights I am choosing to use are from Barrera, and I stumbled across them when I was on Amazon. They got really good reviews. Um, Taylor Ray also did a video using the exact same light, so shout out to him for kind of hipping me to these new lights. They are LED and they allow you to kind of daisy chain them together so you can hook up a series of six lights. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Now as I'm filming this, I'm going to switch to the lens that I use when I do my installation videos just so you all can see the difference in the lighting from the way it is now to the way it will be after the lights are installed. So let's get to it. Okay, to give you all an idea of what I'm currently working with, I have not changed the camera position and I'm actually standing in the same spot that I was previously standing when I was using the 50 millimeter lens. Now this is an 18 55 millimeter lens. It's the kit lens that comes with the camera. And this is the one that I usually use when I'm doing my installation videos. And as you can see, the lighting, even though I'm still standing in the same spot and with the 50 millimeter it was lighter, the lighting's not that great. So. That's why I gotta do this lighting upgrade. I found these. Um, they, I found these on Amazon. And like I said, Taylor Ray, um, if you guys know him or follow him, uses the exact same lighting in his garage. He made a video on it, and I thought I would give him a shot as well. The cool thing is, are, these are LED, and they are about three feet, 10 inches long and you get six of these in a box for i think it paid like 54 or 55 bucks something like that they all each come with an individual switch and it also comes with a little cord so you can daisy chain these together so since i have six of them and i think i'm going to put them in a u shape on my ceiling to kind of help supplement the lighting that i have these actually use less wattage than the lights I'm currently using. And from the reports I've seen of people who use these, they are far brighter than what I'm using right now. Installation with them is pretty simple. They all come, comes with all the hardware you need to be able to put these up. And it looks like I'm basically just gonna have to use a Phillips head screwdriver so I can screw the mounts into the ceiling and then I will hook everything up and we'll see how that goes. So while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and open the garage door just so I can get a little bit more light in here so I can see what I'm doing. But when I do the final showing after I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and close the door and show you guys once again the way this is lit and then how it looks after the lights are installed. So I'm gonna to get to it.
All right, moment of truth time. I put the camera back where it was. I am back with the original lighting of my garage. And now, when I flip this switch, as you can see, the garage is much brighter. Everything is clearly lit now. This is going to make a big improvement when I start filming videos. I went ahead and switched back to my 50 millimeter lens just to show you all the difference in lighting quality. And I can tell you, I am greatly pleased with how bright it is in here right now. I can see things very clearly through the camera lens and that's just going to make it even better when I start filming videos in here this winter. And if you're interested in getting a set of these lights, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description as well as leave a link on my website in case you want to pick up a set for your own garage. I hope you all like the video, so go ahead and leave me one of these. And since you're doing that, you might as well go ahead and click that subscribe button. Make sure to click the little bell so you don't miss any of the new content that I'll be putting out on this channel. So. That's in a nutshell how I installed these lights. I'm going to go inside, take some medicine because I'm still feeling a little bit of the cold coming on. And I will catch you all next time. What's up everybody? I'm Randy. This is 55 Garage. And today I will be upgrading lighting here in the garage. And I will show you guys exactly how I'm doing that. You stop doing the blower right when I... It's all put together, the garage is the garage. And now that everything's put together, the girl, uh, slow down, slow down, slow down. To get you guys an idea, I screwed up again. Okay, I went ahead and switched back to my 55, uh,